it works. Y'all better be paying attention. There are certain characteristics that you look for in children before molesting them. In children, yes, but more I also looked at their families. If I thought the father was a threat, I would not approach the child. If I thought that the child had friends that he would tell, I would not approach him. So perhaps a, a, a child that doesn't really have a whole lot of friends, maybe not really a strong family, things like that. Yes, no spiritual values, um, weak in education, you know, needs help in many ways. Um, even from uh, split parenting, you know, has a mother who may be having problems with the family, you know, well, here comes superhero in to help out, you know, wow, well, thank you very much. No problem. You ever need me to take him away for the night so you can have a night out? No problem. It works. Y'all better be paying attention. There are certain characteristics. Shalom. Call Layla. Yahweh. By Hashem. Yahweh Shai. By Hashem. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh. In the name of His Son. And our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai. Much respect. And honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson, acknowledging your protective hedge. So Esau Edom, the so-called white man, convinced Eve that she does not need her protective hedge, her provider and protector in a city that's already built up with electricity, with power, internet, running water, an electrical grid. Of course, it's easy to deceive in this environment, but the Lord is going to break this economy and this system down. So we're going to be faced with the moment of truth, a short test of time and faith. Male and female naturally revert back to their natural roles in dire times, in times of desperation, in chaos, despair, and hard times. Let's get that. <coughs> I'm going to go here first. The book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verse 19. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. So this place is going to become in ruin, a destructive place of chaos, utter disorder. Let's look at this. <clears throat> so desperate times call for desperate measures. And I appreciate the video from the beloved elder Malcolm. So when you look at a lion and its, its cubs, the male lion protects the herd. He protects the flock. When the lionesses go out hunting, the lion survival and its species, excuse me, one moment. The species survival depends on the lion the king of the jungle. So without the lion protecting the herd, there is no survival of the species of lions. So the other animals, the hyenas, the cougars, the coyotes, just the smell or sense of this male lion's presence send them in the opposite direction. So the Most High made a man 
the sons of Jacob to be a protective hedge as the golden wedge of Ophir. So the devil himself convinced our women they don't need a man and built up a metropolis or mother city with all of the luxuries and commodities, all of the niceties, this high quality of life. Why you think the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 32, tremble ye women that are at ease, the vintage shall fail. This high quality, luxurious life. America is referred to as the city or a town that dwell without walls or that dwells carelessly. <coughs> So they're able to dwell in peace with the presence of the male lion. Let's go here. Isaiah 13, verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Ophir, very rare, very precious. When our life is on the line, anything that can sustain us becomes rare, precious, valuable. So the men of the Lord is going to be upgraded into a ultimate protective hedge. See, we're going to go from there. So the earth is going to be broken down. Let's go to... One moment. <clears throat> right here. <clears throat> the book of Isaiah 32, verse 1. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Massive destruction and enemies on every side. So Jake is being compared to as that protective hedge, a hiding place that's going to protect the Lord's flock. His elect, the remnant. No creature is going to go near these baby cubs when Mufasa is in town or is occupying the dwelling place. I mean, they're chilling, pulling and tugging at his ear without a worry or a care or concern in the world. They're chilling. That's why the devil says you don't need your man to isolate you, make you vulnerable, and destroy the family household unit. This man is the devil. <coughs> Excuse me. Go well, here. Isaiah 32, verse 1. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water, in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land, an oasis of spring waters, a breath of fresh air, Safety and security. And that tempest is going to start with nuclear devastation. Not preceded, not until preceded by these illegal mandates and civil unrest. And the eyes of them that see shall not be dim, and the ears of them 
that here shall hearken the heart also of the rash shall understand knowledge and the tongue of the stammerers shall be ready to speak plainly. So the Lord's precious remnant is going to be preserved and walk along peaceful waters, be at rest when the threats come in on every side. Simba chilling. Let's go over here. One more video to play. Kevin Samuels. And you ladies need to come to this realization that you've been told college and careers make you valuable. It does not make you valuable to us as men. Can you explain what would make us valuable? Yeah, feminine, feminine friendly, cooperative, submissive, childless. Those things make you valuable. The ability to be coachable and trainable and teachable. The ability to get on our program, follow our lead. You're a valued counsel, but we make the decision. You're talking about a top 1% man. And you're talking like a modern woman who wants a partner and you ain't paying for shit. And you ladies need to come to this realization. Okay. Let's close out here. So a man is going to be as in the days of old, a protective hedge, a hiding place, and a covert from all the perils of this broken down society. Ephesians 5, verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Hamashiach is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. So the man is going to be that savior of the family unit, his flock. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Hamashiach, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Everything, that's the leader, that's the decision maker, the judge. Sarah called Abraham Lord. Or the verse 25, husbands, love your wives, even as Hamashiach also loved the church and gave himself for it. So, let me show you. This male lion will sacrifice his life to save the flock, to save the cubs, to save the family unit. He's going to put himself in harm's way, in danger, to fight off the wolves, the coyotes, the hyenas ready to die and become a sacrifice for those that he loves. That's him with his rib, Eve, chilling. <coughs> Close out here. Colossians 3, see, family relations. Colossians 3, verse 18. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it is fit in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. No man should be setting himself up as a tyrant. We're to be leaders, not tyrants. Husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. Children, obey your own. Verse 20. Ch children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well 
pleasing unto the Lord. Fathers, provoke not your children in anger, lest they be discouraged. So we're not looking for Adolf Hitler's or damn um, Leopold, King Leopold, going in trying to commit household massacres, but to be a leader, a provider, and a protector in righteousness. <clears throat> so, once again, much appreciation and respect in the water to the beloved Elder Malcolm. All praises to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shine. Thank you for sharing the video on that devil walking about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So the devil convinced you you don't need your king, your lion. Just the scent and smell of him drives away the threat of the other beast of the field. Well, hopefully this has been an edifying lesson. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kwakadash. Barak Thumb. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharala and the Bad Babao. What you got next? Lord willing. Shalom.